Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Book Review. In this video, I would like to give a brief review about this book, A Short History of World, written by H. G. Wells, the same author who had written a great science fiction like The Invisible Man, The Time Machine, The War of Worlds. So this history book is a, another dimension of worlds. So if you had prepared yourself for the tour of world history, then this book will definitely help you as a companion to guide you in the labyrinth of world history. So this history was written in a chronological format without any topics or compartmentalization. So in this book, Wells had restricted thousands years of history in 450 pages. So although it's a 450 page book, it is still a short history about the world. So this historical journey first started with a story about the birth of universe. After millions of years, life started to originate in earth. First in water, then started to move towards the land as a insects, then birds, then mammals, monkeys, apes, then subhumans, then predecessor of human beings, Neanderthals. Then comes a species called Homo sapiens. So after the arrival of this species Homo sapiens, the history of the world started to change as a human history. So in this book, you can learn about the primitive thoughts of human beings, how this primitive form of Homo sapiens had evolved as a civilized man, their early form of life, how they had cultivated, how they had formed new languages. So after this, the timeline moves to a formation of empire, the early form of empires like Babylonian empires, empire of Darius. So after the decline of this early type of empires, then the Greeks come into the picture. This was a period like a golden period of philosophical ideas and great thoughts. Because in the western part of the ancient world, Greeks started to emerge. In the eastern part, this was a time of age of Buddha, Confucius, Lao then King Ashoka. So the thoughts from this period had enriched the human life and human civilization value. So after the decline of Greeks in Europe, then Roman come into the picture. They had founded a powerful empire. After some time, this empire was divided into two. Eastern Roman Empire was called a Byzantine Empire. During this time, religion had found a deep roots in the minds of the people. First, it was started like a nature worship, then started to move towards worship of mother goddess, then started to move towards organized religions like Judaism, pagan religion, and the birth of Christianity around 1st century, and birth of Islam around 6th century. After that, there was a religious conflict for many centuries between Christianity and Islam, ended as a crusade. Then, next in that timeline, the church domination started in Europe. Then, around 15th and 16th century, reformations and renaissance starts. During this period, the flow of ideas among the people started to emerge. Many inventions and discoveries had expanded the imagination of the people to touch new limits and they had founded a new world, American continent. Then the emergence of nation states, then American Revolution, French Revolution, Napoleonic War, redrawal of national boundaries, then industrial revolutions came. This industrial revolutions and competitive nationalism among the European countries had stretched the country's boundary towards Asia and Africa in the form of colonialism. So fight among the European countries for the colonial possession and competitive nationalisms had ended up as a first world war. So these are all the things you can learn from this book. So for many people who had a strong desire to learn about world history, one thing will stand as a stumbling block initially. Where we have to start? Whether we have to start in French revolutions or whether we have to start from the Greek period, like that various questions will arise in your mind. I think the book like this will help you in that because this book is like an index page. You can find out your area of interest. Once you had found the area of interest means then you can slowly expand your boundaries to learn about the world histories. So with this, I would like to control this review. I hope this information will help the readers to know about this book, A Short History of the World. Thank you.